Okay. Card counting is taking is taking in the cards that fit played specifically usually in the game of blackjack. Um and determining something about what's left in the deck based on what we've seen. Wait, so you can technically card count and go fish. Oh uh, you could, sure. Typically we want to focus on trying to predict what we might see by determining the effective removal of the cards that have already come through before the decks in the shoe are reshuffled. It's not illegal because you're not doing anything illegal. Yep. But certainly in the same way that a restaurant can say a restaurant can say no shirt, no shoes, no service. Same same thing goes, just house rules. This gives an excellent correlation for what your initial bet should be, what your initial expectation of a hand is before the cards are dealt. I feel it's only fair to tell you that I'm choosing this deck specifically because I might have arranged it for the purposes of actually the counts being able to be something you can calculate. The finer point of it is that high cards benefit the player more than they benefit the dealer. The dealer is forced to hit and stay based on rules. The player has no such, uh, no such structure, no, no such necessity. So I have four decks here. We have two things that we cared about, which were the running count and the true count. As I'm writing things, does anyone remember the difference between running count and true count? Something over the number of decks. The running count yes. over the number of decks. Exactly right. Hennessy, 12. 16. 19. Ooh, yeah. 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 16. 20. Ooh. Trying to take away the house advantage as much as you can. You're trying to take away the house advantage as much as you can. Uh, Just right. Stay. Wait, <laughs> Bust. <laughs> Stays. Stays. That was so close. 17. 21. Oh. So anyway, what do we do with with the with the count as we're going from the next hand? What do we do? Do we start again from zero or do we continue keep or going. do we continue? Yeah, keep, keep going. going. That was too fast. Yeah, I lost track. Yeah. That's fine. Take this take this moment now. Now that the cards are on the table, take this moment to try and count. I get zero as well. So if you're at zero, what val what does that mean? What does that suggest for you? We now have the same number of high cards in the deck as low cards. That's I believe that's what you meant by odds reading. Yeah. Do we actually know necessarily that all the probabilities of getting specific cards are the same? No. No. Um, we, we actually don't know that because uh, presumably, you know, perhaps we could have been dealt like an incredible number of twos. Um, and then it's unlikely for us to ever see twos again. But keeping track of that is beyond the human capacity for thought. Uh, 13. 15. Yeah, keep going. 18. 12. <laughs> well, she had 14. <laughs> now you were so 21. Car counting is not something where you hope to get lucky. Right. Um, in fact, you, you, you do quite the opposite. You hope to play many, many, many hands. You overcome house odds by, by doing this successfully. Yeah. Um, and the player actually becomes favored.